In this part, I will solve problems from gate 1992 and 1993 paper. Let's read the first problem. A combinational circuit has three inputs A, B and C and an output F. F is true only for the following input combinations. A is false and B is true. A is false and C is true. A, B and C are all false. A, B and C are all true. And for this, output F is equal to 1. This is the first combination, second combination, third combination and the fourth combination. Now the A part of the problem says, write the truth table for F, use the convention, true is 1 and false is 0. So let's solve the A part of the problem. We have three inputs A, B and C. We have three inputs A, B and C. Let's say this is the combinational circuit. We don't know what is inside this box and I will try to find out by using the four conditions given. The three inputs are A, B and C. These are the three inputs and the output is F. Right. And uh, from the first condition we can see the output F is equal to 1 when A is false and B is true. And as we are having three variables, as we are having three variables, 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 8. So we have 8 possible combinations. I will first make the truth table. I will first make the truth table for three variables A, B, C. A is the MSB and C is the LSB, least significant bit. F is the output. The 8 combinations are 0, 0, 0. First combination 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Then we have 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And the final combination is 1, 1, 1. Now we will see the first condition given in the problem. The first condition says the output F is 1 or high when A is false and B is true. Let's see for what combinations A is false and B is true. If you see the initial four combinations, A is false, A is 0. And in this four combinations, B is true for these two combinations. So the output F is 1 for these two combinations. Now we will move to the second condition. A is false and C is true. This will yield F equal to 1. So F is 1 when A is false, C is true. And in this case also A is false, C is true. And we already have 1 here. From the third condition, F is 1 when A, B, C are all false. And for the first combinations we have a, B, C, all the three variables false, so F is high. And the last condition says F is 1 when A, B and C are all true. So when all the three variables are equal to 1, the output is going to be 1. So this is what we have and the rest of the cases will produce output equal to 0. So this is the truth table for the given combinational circuit. And uh, this is the answer of the first part. In the second part, we have to write the simplified expression for F as sum of products. And we already know we can have the canonical or standard sum of products by using the truth table. Let's move to the B part and first I will write down canonical or standard SOP form and we obtain canonical or standard SOP form directly from the truth table and in case of SOP form sum of products form if a variable is equal to 0 let's say variable is x and if x is equal to 0 we will write x complement and if x is equal to 1 we will write x and here we have to write down the SOP form for the output f so f is equal to we will consider all the cases for which f is equal to 1 we have five such cases and uh, for the first case you can see a is 0 b is 0 and c is 0 and for 0 we write complement of the variable so i will write a complement and 
B complement and C complement or for the second case we have 0 0 1 so A complement B complement C is the second min term for the third case we have 0 1 0 so A complement B C complement for this case we have 0 1 1 so A complement B C and for the last case all the three variables are equal to 1 so this will give us A B C and this is the canonical or standard soft form we have all the variables whether in normal or complemented form in the obtained min terms now we will reduce this by using the boolean algebra so let's quickly reduce this using the boolean algebra and uh, there is one very easy way to reduce this you can see output f is equal to 1 when a is equal to 0 so the four min terms these four min terms we can write as a complement because we don't have to look for b and c because whenever a is equal to 0 the output is going to be 1 so I will write a complement or we are left with a b c so we have a b c and uh, by using the distributive law we have a complement or b c this is the answer for the second part and if you want to prove this if you want to prove this you can easily prove it a complement b complement I will take common from the first two terms and in bracket I am left with C complement or C from the last two terms I will take A complement B as common A complement B and uh, inside the bracket we have C complement or C now C complement or C is equal to 1 so we are left with A complement and B complement or A complement B and from this I will take A complement as common in bracket I am left with B complement or B and this is equal to 1 so finally we have A complement so we have A complement in place of the four min terms or you can directly use the truth table and you can write A complement for the first four cases now we will move to the C part of the problem in the C part we have to write the simplified expression for F as product of sums in the B part we had to find sum of products and in C part we have to find in C part we have to find product of sums again I will first find out canonical or standard pause form by using the truth table then we will reduce it by using the boolean algebra and in case of pause form if a variable is equal to 0 we write it as x and if a variable is equal to 1 we write it as x complement and uh, we are finding out the pause form for f so we will consider all the cases for which f is equal to 0 right and when f is 0 we write it as f equal to a is 1 b is 0 c is 0 a is 1 it means we have to write a complement or b is 0 so we have b or c is 0 so we have c right this is how we have to find out the max terms this is the first max term the second max term is equal to A complement or B or C complement and the third and last max term is equal to A complement or B complement or C. This is the canonical or standard pause form. Now I will use Boolean algebra to reduce this. Function f is equal to I will take A complement or B common from the first two max terms and this will give me a complement or B or C and C complement I have used a distributive law and A complement or B complement or C C and C complement is equal to 0 so we have A complement or B and A complement or B complement or C and from this two terms I can take A complement as common again I will use distributive law so we have B and B complement or C I will open this bracket A complement or B and B complement or B and C B and B complement is equal to 0 so we have A complement or B and C again we will use distributive law this will give us A complement or B and A complement or C so this is the answer for the C part this is the reduced or simplified expression for f as product of sums 
the d part says we have to represent the logic circuit by using minimum number of two input NAND gates and this is the homework problem for you you have to tell me how many NAND gates are required to implement this circuit and uh, inside this box we have inside this box we have one OR gate one two input OR gate and the two inputs are A complement for A complement I will use one NOT gate and the second input is the output of the AND gate B, C are the inputs so we have B and C and finally the output F is equal to A complement or B and C so this is the circuit inside this box and this is all for the first problem now we will move to the second problem the second problem is taken from gate 1993 paper and in this problem in this problem we have to draw the logic circuit realization using only NOR gates and we have to find out the logic expression by using the truth table I will first read the problem the truth table for the output Y in terms of three inputs A, B and C are given in this table and we have to draw the logic circuit realization using only NOR gates let's solve this problem quickly whenever you have to implement any logic circuit by using NOR gates or NAND gates first thing you have to do is to find out SOP or pause form you will find SOP form when you have to realize the function by using the NAND gate and you have to find the pause form when you have to realize the function by using the NOR gate and in this case we have to realize by using the NOR gate so I will first find out pause form by using this table I will make I will make 8 cell K map we have three variables so we have to make 8 cell K map and if you see the table you will find C is MSB the most significant bit and A is LSB the least significant bit let's try to understand why C is MSB and A is LSB if I keep B and C same B0 C0 if I keep them same and if I change A from 0 to 1 we have a 0 in first case and then 1 in the second case so this is the change and if I change only C A is 0 B is 0 in this case also A is 0 B is 0 and C is changing from 0 to 1 then we have 0 in the first case and then we have 4 in the second case so on changing C there is significant change that's why we call it most significant bit and it is important to determine MSB and LSB when you minimize the function by using the K map this is 8 cell K map C is MSB and A is LSB 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 now I will fill this map y is given as 1 1 1 0 so we have we have 1 1 1 0 then we have 1 0 0 0 so 1 0 0 0 and uh, when you try to find out pause form using the k map you have to combine zeros so I will combine the zeros this is the first group second group and third group I will name them first group second group and this is the third group first group will give us B complement or A complement this is what we have from first group the second group will give us C complement or C complement or B complement and the third group will give us C complement or A complement so this is the pause form obtained from the 8 cell K map and uh, whenever you have to implement the pause form using the NOR gate just use this property F complement and its complement is equal to F I will try to explain this I will write F complement equal to F I will take two time complements of the right hand side also B complement or A complement and C complement or B complement and C complement or A complement I will take two times complement now I will use De Morgan's law and by using De Morgan's law we have B complement or A complement its complement 
this AND operation will now change to our C complement or B complement and its complement or C complement or A complement its complement and the complement of the whole expression. Now we can easily implement this by using the NOR gates. The first, the first term we can implement by using the two input NOR gate. This is the two input NOR gate. The first input is equal to A complement. Second input is B complement. The output is A complement or B complement and its complement. You can see the first term we have implemented. In the same way, we will use another two input NOR gate to implement the second term. The two inputs are B complement, C complement. And for third term, I will use the third NOR gate with two inputs equal to A complement, C complement. As we have these three terms, and we have to OR them and then complement them. So it's very obvious that we will use three input NOR gate like this. This is the three input NOR gate and the output is equal to F. So this is how you have to implement the logic function using the NOR gates. And this is very important problem explaining a very important concept. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.